Hey everybody, I am Ezekiel Bruni and I'm here today connected to my Android phone again on behalf of VPN Mentor to talk to you about VPNs on Android, specifically which ones are the fastest. Pay no attention to this Proton VPN icon down here in the corner, that's for a future video, stay tuned. <laughs> Today, we're talking about ExpressVPN, CyberGhost VPN, and of course, our classic private internet access. I will be running tests on all of them with the classic speed test app right here, and let's get to it. So I've already got ExpressVPN on my phone, of course, and as some of you who have watched before may remember, I am in Mexico. Really, if you're on your phone and you want to use a VPN, you're probably not looking to connect to a specific country for specific reasons most of the time. You probably want a reasonably secure connection instead of leaving your phone open to whatever Wi-Fi network you're on. But you want fast speeds. I'm actually going to be connecting to the US, though I could be connecting to, you know, a closer server here in Mexico if I wanted, because ExpressVPN can connect you to 94 different countries all over the world which means you will always have a server close to you, and that is a big part of why ExpressVPN is so fast on Android and pretty much every other platform. We're just going to connect real quick. Let's open up the, the speed test app here. Okay, Maxahost LLC is in fact a Dallas server, or at least a server close to Dallas, so let's just give it a check. There we go. And that speed is ramping up fairly quickly. Again, 115 megabits per second is my maximum. Uh, the speeds will vary a lot more because we are on Wi-Fi rather than Ethernet in this case. But there we go, getting up to 105. That's not a ton of overhead. I've seen a lot worse. And there's basically almost no overhead on the upload speeds. That is absolutely fantastic. And there we go. But as you can see, ExpressVPN is fast in general, and it is designed for things like streaming media, streaming video in particular, uh, watching Netflix and so on. It's very good at accessing all kinds of video streaming services, but it's also great for gaming and you can even torrent on it, though I would not generally recommend torrenting on Android, especially if you're on a metered or data capped connection. All right, now let's have a quick look at CyberGhost. All right, it took me a second to sign in, but I'm but I'm in. Now again, we could just connect to the closest location, but we're not going to do that. CyberGhost allows you to connect to servers in over 90 countries, not quite as many as ExpressVPN, but still quite a few. It is again very fast. It's pretty great for streaming and even has some streaming optimized servers, but we're just going to go grab the Dallas server. Let me look up the country we want. Hit that little button on the side there and there we go dallas connecting and we're in all right now let's get us a speed test and let's try it out again we're connected to some dallas servers and ooh, that is pretty great ping the speed ramped up very quickly i'm quite impressed and yeah cyber ghost is absolutely rocking this particular test and a, yes, slightly higher average upload speed. Nope, nope. Upload speed's about the same, about the same overhead there. But all in all, an absolutely fantastic test. No complaints, five stars, 10 stars, whatever it takes. <laughs> if you liked this video, if it's helped you make your purchasing decisions, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon because there are a lot more tips and tricks and other cool stuff coming up on the channel. And we put out videos pretty often. All right, now let's show you PIA VPN. Now, Private Internet Access, or PIA, is also a, another VPN with a pretty big network. Now, I don't know if I can actually connect to Dallas specifically in this particular case. I, I know I don't believe they have a Dallas server as such, so I will be connecting to Houston, Texas instead. The server network has over 80 countries, which is not as high as ExpressVPN or CyberGhost, but still absolutely fantastic. And it should be noted that private internet access, the client itself is entirely open source and it is the cheapest VPN on the list. All right, there we go. Okay, so full disclosure, I had a little trouble with speed the speed test before because I was connected on the open VPN protocol instead of WireGuard. OpenVPN open is a bit slower, though more secure. 
But wow, that speed test is fantastic. Actually the best so far. Mind you, that doesn't mean that private internet access is the fastest across the board, but those are good tests for, you know, between Mexico City and Texas in this case. I didn't actually use the Houston server in the end. As you can see, all three of these VPNs are quite fast, quite easy to use, and can definitely get you connected on your Android phone whenever and wherever you need. Again, though, you'll have to select the WireGuard or an equivalent protocol if you want some those fast, fast speeds. That is something to think about. Now, which one is the best? Generally speaking, we always go with ExpressVPN just because it has the wider network. It has more countries in its net network of servers, which means you're more likely to have a servers close to you. It also has some pretty fantastic technology backing it up all around, including its own lightweight protocol, which is open source, by the way. And it is just that good. CyberGhost has those streaming optimized servers, which are okay, but there aren't as many of them. You can, you're better off sticking to uh, the regular servers in most cases. And in general, it's just a fantastic service for people who want things like dedicated IP addresses and a full security suite. Private internet access is, again, the cheapest option. It, you know, you pay for a couple years in advance, you can get this VPN for less than $2 a month. It is awesome that way. And I, I recommend all three, but ExpressVPN provides the best general consumer experience. Again, if you liked this video, if you found it useful, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, honor the YouTube algorithm gods, and <laughs> help us keep this channel going. Also, if you want discounts on all three of the VPNs I talked about today, check the links down in the description. There are discount links for all three, as well as links to full reviews of all three, so you can see everything that they can do on every platform. All right, I had fun making this video. I hope you had fun watching it. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing out.